So let's look from a purely worldly aspect. How does Salah bless you? How is Salah blessing you from a worldly aspect? Now, if you go to the worldly benefit, Salah is spaced out in such a beautiful way. Such a beautiful way. One, early in the morning, just before the sun rises. So you are up. As a Muslim, you are up. The non-Muslim doctors tell you, early to bed, early to rise. Makes a man healthy, wealthy and wise. That's an English saying. So, we are taught early to bed and early to rise is your duty as a Muslim. Allah automatically wants to make you healthy, wealthy and wise. Subhanallah. For free. If you are going to live Islam, what time will you get up? Can you be a person who's going to get up 11 in the morning when everyone's already at work? No. If you're a Muslim, one of the blessings of Salah is you are up on time. When you're up on time, you get your children up on time. Mashallah, you read your Fajr Salah. You might sit for a while with your Quran. You might say a few good words to your family members. And then you, you probably will have breakfast together, something light, your tea, whatever you have together. Today the world is weeping and crying because families are disintegrating. Everyone is on his own computer, locked in his own room. No one talks to each other. Father goes to work early morning, mother's gone somewhere else, children gone to school and you know the house is now split. You're a Muslim, you get up early, mashallah, you spend the beginning of the day with Allah and then with your family. You've had the cup of tea, even if it took you five minutes. The blessing of Salah is you will see your children. How are you, my darling? How are you doing, my little boy, my little daughter? I really love you. Today you're going, make a dua for me. Let me make a dua for you. This is a beautiful environment in a Muslim home, which is lost in a lot of homes. It's lost. Our children are brought up by the television and the computer because we don't have time for them. One meal with your child is priceless. People really are suffering because they don't spend time with their children. So the children don't know what's happening in the world. But you get up in the morning, inshallah, one of the blessings of Salah, you will see your children off. Inshallah, whether they go to school and whatever happens. What time is Salat al-Dhuhr? Just after the Zenith, you know? Just after the Zenith, when the sun is right at the top, just after it tilts off is Salat al-Dhuhr. Amazing how the world has kept that time as lunch hour have you noticed that lunch hour so people say when is lunch hour you say similar to the time of Dhuhr. amazing look at a muslim allah did not inconvenience you from the morning right up to that time there are some voluntary prayers but there are no compulsory prayers so when you get to allah's meaning when you get to a higher level that allah would like you you know to achieve more and more you can offer voluntary prayers but if you have not yet got to that level at least you know that you know what it is now midday. Let me do something. What do you do? You make wudu. Wudu is ablution. This ablution with water, what does it do for you? It, your face is washed. Your hands are washed. Your feet are washed. You are fresh. You have wiped your head and so on. You are feeling good. That medically is proven to rejuvenate the individual at midday, just like it does at any other time rejuvenate you. You're woken up. You are refreshed again. Amazing. You've washed your face with cold water. We are looking at health blessings of Salah. Amazing. Now you come in the middle of all the hype of the day. You have unplugged from your work and you have plugged in with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu Akbar. Silent recitation in Salat al dhuhr and you're just thinking, subhanAllah, you're reading and the amazing feeling of serenity. Wallahi, if the non-Muslims knew the sweetness of the Salah we have, they would fight us to take it from us. Promise you. Ask those who have turned to Islam. They will tell you no religion has an act of worship anywhere near the Salah of a Muslim. No religion, neither Judaism nor Christianity. Not at all. Salah is a gift. So consider it a gift. And then you have Salatul Asr, mashallah, the late afternoon prayer. And then you have Salatul Maghrib just after the sunset. And then before you go to bed, you have Salatul Isha. Wow. Look at one of the big blessings. Your day. Timetable. Excellent. You know, the professionals of today, 
you go to work, what do they do? 8 o'clock they're there, 1 o'clock they knock off, 2 o'clock they're back, 5 o'clock they're back at home. Every day, like clockwork, nobody needs to say anything, they're there. And come time, they're back, like clockwork. Why? They need a salary, they need to live, they need to feed their families, they need something, you need to buy the Porsche Cayenne, mashallah. You need to do so much more. You know, we're living in Qatar, we cannot just drive a little Toyota Corolla. This is Qatar. You need a Lamborghini, mashallah. Allah protect us. So people want to afford everything, they go to work on time, they come back on time. And they say, no, I don't want to lose my job. If my boss tells me, come over time, I go. Listen very carefully. We have something more important than the dirham and the dinar. We have something more important than the car, the Cayenne and the Lamborghini. We have something more important than the villa and the Qusur, the palaces. We have Jannah to prepare for. We have paradise to prepare for. One of the biggest blessings of Salah, it does not only help you through your world, but it helps you through into the eternal life of paradise. So many people have passed away in front of us. They used to go to work. They used to work for a living. They used to try their best to feed their families and so on. But what happened? They passed away. They did not wait to see the benefit of that money. If they were fulfilling their salah, good luck to them. If they were fulfilling their duty to Allah, good news to them. So many have died in Salah. So many have died coming to Salah. So many have died just having left from Salah. What about us? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding. Imagine we are ready to work for a salary because we will get promotion, we will get a bigger package, we will be happier, we will be able to build a house in our own country or help our relatives and so on. So we are happy, we work so hard. Allah says, just need a little bit of salah, a little bit. It doesn't take too long. In 24 hours, you are being asked for minimum of 24 minutes. For every hour, pay one minute. Come on. For every hour, pay one minute. How long does it take? Minimum, minimum. Obviously, it should be more than that, but I'm talking of the bare minimum, 24 minutes for the five salah a day. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us blessing.